Hello and welcome to our video about the sites we stayed at on our way down all the way to the Algarve. Please ensure that your handbrake is on and that your vehicle is in first gear or park. We took an early shuttle and crossed the channel with Eurotunnel. Thereafter, it was just a long, long drive all the way down to Tour, where we stayed at Camping Les Acacias. It took pretty much all day to get to Camping Les Acacias. We received a warm welcome at reception. As you can see, the pitches are on grass. They're fairly well spread out, nice and shaded. The toilet block is centrally heated. It's fairly clean, but let's just say it's just a little bit fragrant. The next day was a very long day's driving. We were making a break for the border down to Spain. Being a Sunday, there was very little commercial traffic on the road, which meant that we had the parking places in the service areas to ourselves. Here we are now, just entering Spain. From here, it's not far to go to our campsite for the evening. One thing I wasn't quite prepared for was the steep climb on, onto the campsite in the wet conditions. I reckon this was probably about one in four in places. Had I realised that before we started climbing, I would have selected four-wheel drive in the Sanyong Rexton I was driving. As such, we struggled up in two-wheel drive and despite a little bit of wheel spin, we made it. So you should be assured that making it to this site, even in two-wheel drive car, you should be okay. Here you can see we're just getting to the reception block. Little did I know that I should have taken that turning to the right that we've just passed. I park here and check in, and you guessed it, I then have to reverse the caravan all the way back past those parked cars. Oh well, you live and learn. Very boring with all the rain, isn't it, Dougal? Hmm. You fed up with the rain? Yeah, me too. Me too. We want to go out, don't we? We do. We want to go out. After two days of solid driving, we stayed here for two nights. The weather was pretty awful, but on the departure day, you can see it brightened up. Quick look around the toilets there. They were clean enough, not heated though. On grass pitches, a little bit worn out at this time of the year, but you can see that the views were absolutely stunning. As we were the only tourers on site, it was no problem for when the local village dog came to make friends with Dougal, we let them have a run round as there was no one else to worry about.
another long and uneventful day's driving across the plains of Spain to the university town of Salamanca. We stayed at Camping Regio, which is adjacent to the Hotel Regio, where you can take your meals if you're feeling a little bit lazy. The campsite is fine. I have to say it's a little bit unloved. It was looking a bit tired. It was clean. The toilets are okay. It's fine for a visit to the town of Salamanca, or as we were doing, it was great for an overnight stop. Orbitur Ginchō is in the seaside town of Kashkaish, about 30 kilometers from Lisbon. The pitches are quite close together, under trees, and they're on sand. However, those we had through the Caravan and Motorhome Club were delineated, and they had both mains and water hookups. But you don't come here for the site. You come here for the proximity to Lisbon, and also for the beautiful Dunas de Cresmina next door a 10 minute walk to these lovely sand dunes and a further 10 minutes over boardwalks to the seaside at Qashqais. And there's no better way to finish your day than taking a drink and watching the sun go down at the bar Dunas de Cresmina. After a fantastic stay in Qashqaish and some brilliant visits to Lisbon, I was towing the airstream over the 25th of April bridge down towards the Algarve for the final stretch of our journey. I left it a little bit late in the day to set off, but I was quite pleased in the end. As you can see, we saw an amazing sunset. Our final destination in Portugal, down on the Algarve, is Camping Ria Formosa in the town of Cabanas de Tavira on the east side of the Algarve. I have to say this is probably my favourite site in this video. The pitches were spacious, they were on hard standing, toilets were clean, hot water was a bit hit and miss, as you can see a lovely swimming pool and it's adjacent to a railway station so it is very popular with motorhomers. The seaside village of Cabanas de Tavira is about 15 minutes walk from the site. You can see a luxury yacht in the marina there. Or you can get the train or drive 10 minutes to Tavira itself. Although there are no beaches in Cabanas de Tavira, you can get a ferry from the village over to the island across the water there, and there you'll find miles and miles of quiet sandy beaches.
sadly the time has come to leave Portugal and cross the bridge over into Spain. So I hope you enjoyed this little video of our trip down to the Algarve and where we stayed. As ever, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. It just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in.